Well, it's back in all of its shining red, white, and blue glory. We're, of course, talking about the giant whirly gig that calls Baltimore home. Yes, Marty is live at AVAM with more on the return of this trademark art installation. Hello, Marty. We love the whirly gig. Well, well, hello, guys. I, we love the, we, uh, the grand we love the whirly gig. If, if I could marry that thing, I would. <laughs> Rebecca will tell you, I've been a fan forever to the point that my wife, and I put our two kids in the car and went down to visit artist Vala Simpson in the common North Carolina and saw all the whirly gigs. You told me there was some neighborhood resistance to this. Tell them. Early on when I was showing slides of Vallis's work, a neighbor said, we don't want your whirlies and twirlies in our neighborhood. And after it was up, six months later, he came and he said, it's my favorite piece of public sculpture ever. You were telling me that the Cohen brothers, oh brother, where art thou? Uh, uh, the big Lebowski mm -hmm. came to town and actually laid on the ground underneath it and looked up. Absolutely. And this was transfixed in a windstorm for hours. And Matt Groening, yes. The Simpsons, yes. one of his favorites. Well, the whole museum, he said it was his favorite museum ever, the creator of The Simpsons. Well, we're going to run over here. To, well, we'll be back next half hour talking more. We're actually going to go upstairs and take a look across at the top of the world. Again. Bob, you oversaw the restoration of this. How many yep. pieces is that actually? And what does that weigh? Uh, pieces is unknown, but it's in the many thousands when you get down to individual pieces of hardware. Uh, in total, the sculpture on top of the pole weighs about 3,500 pounds. And the pole itself, tubular uh, steel? It is tubular steel. It's uh, sunk 13 feet into the ground. So um, the, the pole itself uh, is about 43 feet. The whirly gig sits another 12 feet on top of it. So if you go from the bottom most underground to the very tippy top, it's 55 feet tall. And it is going to catch the wind, so it has to be incredibly secured. Meg was just, and Tim were just pointing out, we have potential for severe weather later on. And it stands the test of time. It's seen all the weather that nature can throw at it. 89 per, mile per hour winds it's taken, where it's a blur. People I, come to watch it just dance in the wind. Well, you were telling me, you got both were telling me behind us is Federal Hill, that people will sit up there in a storm and just watch it spin. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. That, is un, that is truly, uh, oh, and it has a name. Listen to the, I always just call it the whirly gig. You told me that Vallis gave it a name. Life, Liberty, and Pursuit of Happiness. Next to Federal Hill. Mm -hmm. He was so proud to be a, a, by the historic Federal Hill. And this is a man who said, I had a lot of junk and I had to do something with it. But he is now world famous. <laughs> he most certainly is coming up next half hour. Bob and Rebecca are taking us up to the cafe balcony where there's a tribute to Bob. You get to see a picture of him. And we'll look very closely at life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. We'll put it back to you. Look, you never know what you could do with the junk sitting in your home. I know. Could be the next priceless treasure of the city. Come I, on. We could make our own whirly game. Let's get to work, Meg. Yes. We gotta go. We gotta go. <laughs>